Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. Today I am going to show you about social login in Laravel app and today I am going to explain you about Facebook login in Laravel application. If you are new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos on Laravel web development. As in earlier videos we have seen about login, registration and forget password. And we have also integrated this beautiful admin panel. If you have not watched the video, you can go to the i button, watch the video and see how we can integrate this admin panel into Laravel 8. So let's get started with Socialite. So we are going to use this Laravel Socialite package in our application so that we can integrate Facebook login in our system. The first thing which we use is like installing this package by using composer so let's open the code here and let's open the terminal i'm going to install this composer package package is installed next what we need to do we just need to add a service in our configuration file so as we are using you can use any one of this Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google, GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket. I'm today I'm going to show you about uh, Facebook login. So let's get started there as a Facebook. So let's see here if we find the Facebook. Go to this config services. As you see there are three, four services already there. So what we need to do here, we just create a new service here, call it a Facebook, pass the parameter. The parameter would be a client ID secret and the redirect. To get client ID and client secret, what you have to do is you have to visit on Facebook developers folder. There you have to create an app for social login and you will get a secret and client ID for that application so you just need to use your client ID and client secret there I'll give a link of Facebook developers account into the description you can visit there and you can create your uh, application for redirect URL we are going to update this redirect URL according to our route we, which we are going to define in a few minutes so we'll see this on that time so let's not without wasting a time let's let's jump into the next step so the Facebook services we have added, let's create a Facebook login URL. Here, what we can do, we can create a group for Facebook, which is prefix, give a prefix of Facebook. and then group it give it a callback function there and inside this give it a name name would be Facebook dot and let's keep the first root get the parameter would be auth and let's create a new controller which will be responsible for all Facebook login related operations so let's create a PHP artisan make controller Facebook controller okay so it will create a controller in HTTP controllers and then Facebook controller let's use this controller Facebook controller the next parameter would be let's call it login use Facebook 
and name it as facebook dot login give it a name as login so this is the first parameter let's copy the same and give it a callback and call back from facebook name it as a call back all right we are good here so we have defined two routes first is authentication and second is the callback url so for callback in the services what whatever we have used let's go to the services config services as and update your local url whatever for example my local url is example laravel 8 dot test so i am going to put this as here then i am going to put as a facebook as a prefix and then callback is the url which needs to be there for callback you can use your own local url till here and further it will be a facebook slash callback so it would accept as a redirect url for client id and secret you you will get this from developers account of your facebook and you can put these th two things here let's go to the next step go to this controller create these two function login using facebook so the first function would be a login using facebook Facebook so the name of function let's create a function so this function will be responsible for redirecting it a socialite driver so then here what we'll do we just return this so slide driver as you see this laravel socialite facade is used here to use this facade and in driver what will pass will pass the driver as we define here as a facebook and by using this driver we will call the redirect method what it will do it just it will just redirect this facebook login using facebook to facebook redirect url which we have defined here uh, now this is a callback url so it will just redirect to the facebook login url where it just accept this client id and client secret based on this client id and client secret it will access the once facebook account and then redirect it to the this url so let's make the another function which will handle this callback make a new function which will handle this callback okay before we go jump into the controllers what we need to do here is we we want to get a facebook id in a callback so we want to store it in a users table for now users table has name email email verified password status and remember token and created and updated it so we want to introduce a new column called facebook id so let's let's create a new column using a migration so what we need to do here we need to go into the code create a new migration called php partition make migration name it as a add facebook id in users table table so it will create a migration for adding a facebook id in users table 
So let's go into the database migrations. So here is the migration. As you see, the schema has already picked this users table. So what we need to add, we just need to add a table column, a string column, which will name as Facebook ID, which can be nullable. So as we have two options in our login system, either you can use sign up and login using your email address or you can use a Facebook. So we'll put it as a nullable. Here in this down call function, what we can do, we can drop this column, drop column and name it as what we have given a name, Facebook ID, Facebook ID. Let's run the migration, PHP addition migrate. Yeah, migration runs successfully. Let's go into the database and refresh this. As you see, the Facebook ID column is added at the end. So this is the column where we are going to store the Facebook ID, which will receive from the callback URL. So the migration is done. What next step is we just need to define this Facebook ID as a fillable property in a users model. So close this file, go into models, user model, you, you see this fillable property. So what we need to do, we just add a Facebook ID as a fillable ID property of the column. All right. So what we'll do next, we have already created the routes for this login and then when it comes to a callback function what it will do it will actually check let's take a try catch function here what it will do let's call it a user use our socialite driver facebook get the user let's dd this user and see what we are getting then getting into this user all right so we have to display a facebook button just below this login button here if you go into login just below th this we just need to display a facebook button there so what we'll do we'll just go to this login.php file in blade login.blade.php so we just added a facebook login with facebook button let's refresh this as you can see here we have a login with facebook button what we need to do next is just give this button a link of what we have created in root file what is the name of this facebook.login so if you refresh this page you will see this has the facebook auth button one thing we have to update here uh, instead of redirect url we just need to define this only a redirect parameter here as we have set up all the things for facebook login so let's click on this login button and see where it will it will redirect to the facebook login so as i am already logged in with my facebook account we have just dumped the data which we are getting from uh, facebook redirect so we already seen this day here what we need to do here next is call the user model create or update function which will check if the facebook id which is we which we are getting here is saved in the database so it will just update the table with the new data otherwise it will create a table so let's call it a save user function here 
and then what we'll do just take our user uh, model here we'll call update or create which the first parameter would be a Facebook ID so from user it has some helper function if you call it as a get ID so it will give you the ID of this and then the rest of the parameter would be in the second array and the second array would be what we'll need to store we just need to store a name the name would be get user get name so this would be the name and the second thing which we need to store is a email and it would be user pointing to get email so we'll get this name and email let's use this import this class in this user model here in facebook controller so we have our save user function here which will actually create and update facebook once we get this user model here what we need to do we just need to log in our user what we use we will use login using id login using id function of auth facade and we'll pass this next what we need to do we just need to redirect from here return redirect to home root and that's it let's test it and see if we are actually redirecting this user to so let's click on this login with facebook account if you are not logged in with your facebook account so facebook will ask you to log in your account as i already logged in with my account so it what it will do it will just redirect me to directly on this function so okay so here i think this function id is not a function so this will work let's refresh this and go as you see i have logged in with the facebook and it's on home page now what i can do i can just log out and it will be logged out if i try to access a home now it will not allow me to access a home because it's logged out it's as simple as that you just click on the login with facebook it will redirect you to the home page where you you redirected and you can log out let's check on database if we have facebook id saved yes as you see this is the user which is logged in with the facebook and the facebook id is here so i hope you are clear with how we can integrate this facebook login in a laravel application similarly you can use any one of any of the social media like facebook google twitter linkedin google github gitlab and bitbucket so uh, steps are really simple you just need to ref define three things client id client secret and the redirect url so it will accept these three things from your services and based on this it will act as a this package socialite package will act as a middleware and make you call this redirect and then after redirect call back you will access this user of this social account so you based on that you can create the user in your 
uh, application or you can match any user using email id and then you can log in with the social media account if you found this video informative please do like and subscribe this channel in future i am going to post most relative video to the laravel and vue.js and all the web development related things if you got any queries related to this you can comment down in the section and let me know if you if you have any doubt i, I will try to solve all the all of your doubt thank you for watching keep learning stay tuned thanks Thank you.